Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 540? Yeah, we're at 540 now. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is two Chinese restaurants. Mm, two Chinese restaurant chain get how many promos for G4 and G5? Molly T and Cafe do de Coral. China has two more restaurant chains hopping on the pony bandwagon with places, uh, sorry, with a place called Molly's Tea teaming up with Friendship is Magic for stickers, magnets, and cups, and Cafe de Coral bringing, uh, bringing on a bunch of cute G5 figures. Hmm. All right. Head down below. Okay. 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 So let's. We, we got the um, kind of cup with straws, thingy promo, stickers, and whatnot. All right. So this is what you get. And the Corel de... Sorry, um, what's that? Uh, Cafe de Corel. They're just giving you... If I'm not mistaken, this is the pony blind bag. The Chinese pony blind bag. So let's zoom in on the meal. So the G5 set comes with, uh, I, I think this is a kid's meal. Um, uh, basically, you're just getting um, a kid's meal and said kid's meal comes with a free toy. Um, what kind of free toy is it? Uh, this is one of those blind bags. Remember the one we reported way back where you get these cute blind bag figures with multiple finish on them. And I think this is the one that you're getting. Uh, there's version one and version two. I I got no idea. There's six of them, five I think. What? Yeah. There, there's. Hmm, how 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 do I put this? Like, there's multiple versions of them, and they are. <clears throat> I think it's just random what you get. Will be getting, and I'm not sure what's the difference between the two two options. But anywho, uh, in terms of meals, it looks like you'll be getting some kind of pasta and some, uh, it looks like chicken or could be pork, I don't know, and OJ, and the other one is fried rice, corn, cherry tomatoes, I think that's chicken and some sausages, cocktail sausages. All right, pretty simple kids meal. <coughs> and for Molly tea, Molly, Molly's tea, yeah. For Molly's tea, or yeah, you you'll just be getting, uh, this. I I think you have to buy a certain amount of a certain purchase. Like you you buy something, you'll get this. Uh, you get to, well, what did um Steph, yeah, what did Steph say? Uh, two shadow sister teaming up Molly tea. Um, stickers, magnets, and cups. So, can we get a zoom in on this? So, I'm guessing these are the stickers. This is the cup. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, part of a magical go. Okay, I guess. Um, I don't know about the magnets. Um, what are the magnets? How do they look like? Are they Tin paper, like are are they tin magnets? Like um, give me a second. I I do have. Oh boy, it's dusty. So anyhow, um, uh, this. Here, if you can see it, uh, this is a magnet. Um, Daniel Anthony gave it to me at one time. I forgot uh, when, but I remember he did give it to me. Thank you. Uh, and it's kind of paper thin, and it's a magnet, and that's really cool. So, I'm guessing you you probably get magnets that look like the uh, six tier KU Wild Child. Stay true, 
uh, be you. Uh, I'm more. Uh, I'm my own muse, girl boss. And yeah, you, you'll get that kind of um, kind of um, wording and stickers and whatnot. And this is a crossover between Molly T and uh, Friendship is Magic. But to be honest, uh, why did they change the Pegasi wing into Fairy Wings? Huh. It, 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 I, I'm just puzzled by this option select. And. The art, the, 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 the art is okay. I, I can't really say much except for rarity. Why did they just use the basic art of her here? With Rainbow Dash and Twilight, they, they just... Uh, it feels like they just swap heads and hair and uh, fur tone. Uh, but hey, uh, it's a promotional item. Take it or leave it, right? Girl, boss, what is up with those wordings, man? <coughs> so, yeah, um, what, what you really want is the cup. And here's a better zoom in view. Um, yeah, I, I think the cup, not really, the straw is pretty long, so it won't fit in the box, I think, unless you can angle it. So uh, okay, my theory is that you 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 buy the drink, you you get this. They don't put the drink in this. They put the drink in um this uh, normal cup that they have, uh, and your stuff. Uh, this probably comes in the box. This straw is put at an angle, I think, and the magnet is inside the box too. Magnet and sticker combo. That's my theory. I'm not 100 percent sure if it's true or not but hey um it's a very fun promotional item to get like if you're a fan i say go for it and if you live in china and you're a fan go for it even more <coughs> moving on to the next news giant pinkie pie appears at chinese event mm -hmm. once again we have what <laughs> we have more ponies shenanigans coming out of China and even called New Friends and Campus. This is going until the 9th of October at various universities around Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Uh, 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 Guangzhou has this giant pinky pie on has this giant pinky pie on display, alright? Along with a bunch of other pony things across the generations uh, the event the event is being sponsored by the same company releasing all the cards over there Caillou and they are giving out balloons for taking part in their games Caillou card is, is this the card that I think they are Ah, yes. Yep, 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 yep. We, we reported on this one before. <coughs> so, let's take a look, see, dive in. So, I, I'm a bit puzzled by this one. Because, why are they promoting Pony at a university campus? It says university campus, right? Like, uh, universities go um, October at various universities around Wangzhou. So why did they did they explain? Don't think so. So judging from what, okay, maybe something in the chat. Uh, uh, okay, blah blah blah. Uh, okay, we get the okay. Yeah, nothing. They they didn't say anything about um why. So I'm just guessing they want. To promote ponies to adults, I guess. But anywho, um, from what I can tell, the company Kayo, uh, Ka Kayu is promoting their stuff, uh, selling uh, or trying to promote their thing and whatnot, and just trying to get people 
into the fandom and you'll get stuff like cards and figures and stickers and whatnot um in one of the um, exclusive for the mbs show patreon thingy i meant uh, i showed them that you uh, an unboxing and one of the figures or one of the things i unboxed was this one uh the my little pony sweet dreams thing and this is this i, I have it here oh no um yay um and what i mentioned before is this is just basically a hard autograph art kind of thing where you get um what you call this a pony sleeping good thing i got Fluttershy because Fluttershy's best pony uh, it sounds that way because it's a hard card. Um, if if you notice in Japanese animes and whatnot, when you ask for an autograph, they usually give you this hard, that's hard card where the uh, what you call this um, celebrity finds their name on the card and hands it to the fan. <coughs> and so this is the same quality and whatnot. And it makes a really good art card, 25 uh, cards to collect, so on, or is it 25 in the box? But still, um, I think it's 25 in the box. But anyway, um, you get that and a few other things. Is it from Kaya? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. I, I never noticed that one. So anywho, yeah, um, I that's what yet but i i'm still puzzled by why and out of all places china i i'm just guessing that china is really moving on and pushing into the brony fandom and talking about the fandom uh in case you were curious about chinese pony cons they sent a write-up <clears throat> oh man it's been it's been a while since i heard that one it's no secret that China is basically enjoying the same viral chaos of ponies that we enjoyed back in the early mid 2010s. Right now, cartoon horses are all the rage with Armada, Armada's, um, hmm, um, Arm, Armada's, Armada's of artists, plushie makers, animators and more all producing pile of ponies for a re for a ravenous fandom they ran a convention called China South Southern Brony Carnival back in July and have sent a full write up over if you want to take a look at how their event looked go for go check it out below if you're curious and this is Steph right uh, okay, so I'm not gonna go deep into it. Um, you can probably go into yourself and read it up. And uh, let's just see. Uh, so 19 to the 23 day event. Okay, that's normal. Uh, which is the fourth time of huh? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm very curious. 23. When did we all head out and do stuff? from the pandemic i forgot i remember in the ninth uh early uh, in 2019 uh early 2020s uh, lockdown began and we can't do anything basically we just stayed at home um and i remember the whole um convention uh, online convention thing happening oh man i'm just really blur how they did it but anywho uh, gain well reputation right after it finished two months ago. A new convention. All right, all right, all right. So they do. They do have um what we have. They they have um musicians and whatnot make music and uh, EDM artists. This guy soon is going to be very popular. He he's going to be the uh, Chinese. Brony representing the EDM crowd. We had that with our group, and 
Yeah. It's funny to see that, hey, um, th these guys are doing the same thing that we're doing and can't wait to see how successful they're going to be. Oh, wow, this is cool. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read this one. CSBC made an, innova an innovation by having... What are you? Okay. No, no, thank you. Get out of it. Um, by uh, an innovation by having a brony bus as convention transport between the nearest metro station and the venue. It made traveling to other places, go dine together, sightseeing, etc. much easier from the venues, especially with a group of friends. The brony bus was equipped with special design LED signs and pony-related decorations. These were several... Uh, they were several times that Brony's spontaneous signs uh, Legend of Everfree, aka the bus song, sing Legend of Everfree together during the trip. Legend of Everfree. Have I... Oh, man. I forgot. Damn. Uh, together during the bus. Although it's not far between metros and the avenue, the Brody bus still won the love of many people. Undoubtedly be way ahead for, uh, of the others. So let's, let's click in and see. Let's click in and see. Okay. So, ah, okay. This is promoting the, uh, event that's going on. So that's cool. Prance the night. Uh, and then, wow, that, that's cool. And I, I think, um, on, okay, they didn't really splatter the bus with pony stuff. Uh, they, they just put in some um, special things here and this, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's really awesome. And, okay, on a scale of one to 10, I would just say this is a high eight. This is a high eight. This is really cool. And in my personal opinion, I think what they did was they chartered or they rented out a bus for the event. I think it's for the whole three days. And I got no idea how much that's going to cost. And oh my God. That's just cool, man. That, that is just cool. Yeah, I, I, I got nothing bad to say. And I got no idea if this is public or not like i i, I guess it, it has to be huh I, i'm just wondering if this is one of those things where it's a chartered bus you just get on and you go from point a to point b uh, that has to be the case but uh i'm just pondering do you need to pay to get on because if some kind of um old lady wants to ride on the bus i guess you can't deny her Right? I mean, whatever reason do you want to deny her? But still, uh, this is really awesome. What well, could push it to an 11 if they plastered the bus with pony stuff from front to end? Okay, not, you know what I mean, um, covering with stickers and so on and making it all that, but that's got to be costing a lot with all that um, uh, wrap. <clears throat> Anywho, <clears throat> Let's move on to guests. Okay, I am curious. Uh, Sudibot Project joins CSBC 2024 after uh, sightseeing around the city with some local bronies. They attended the convention with two sweetie bots for bronies that stay in the fandom for years and are interested in fan made projects. It was a dream come true moment. To meet Sudibot in person, they shocked the people who were new to the fandom, showing that bronies, uh, what bronies can do. The booth of S uh, Sudibot project was full of people, and the team got along well with attendees. It seems that uh, it seems that the Sudibot ended up having a great time. All right, that is awesome. Oh, oh, we. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh okay, there's two 3D bots. Fascinating. Um 
okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I, you know what? I, 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 I remember um, looking and talking about it, but man, just looking at the pictures from this point of view, I, this is just wow. Oh boy! Oh, sorry, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just amazed. <clears throat> uh interactive activities unlike Bruni conventions in unlike other Bruni conventions in China, TSBC focused on the interaction between friends and strangers. Not only do they hosted many interactive team solo games such as Trivia Trot Draw and Guess, they also dug into details to make people both on and off stage feel involved in solo games that everyone can compete with their knowledge and learn new things uh, both canon and fan okay and this is fun this is fun um what is this uh oh, um, okay there's 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 this coin okay that's the final oh um, okay okay I, I get it i get it this is the portal to send sunset's book in out into yeah 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 <laughs> Oh man. Uh okay, okay, okay. those games are fun. Those games are fun. Uh excellent fandom project displays. Yes, we see always concern about the development of MLP fan made projects. They sent a panel to give creators a change to show every a chance to change to a change to show everyone every pony what the okay Steph. This, this has to be a chance, right? Uh, this can boost the confidence of creators with positive feedback. To <clears throat> yeah, that's true. That's true. <clears throat> and crosses, even though doesn't have TSBS doesn't have the most amount of crossers, we can still find plenty of them. From the very basic design to full pony suit, crossers is that cross uh, uh cosplayers? Hmm, not sure. Uh, booth. There were eighteen booths for the attendance. Uh, twenty twenty four CSBC, which gained a huge number. So vendor booths eighteen in total. Not bad. Not bad. Better than none. So yeah. And wow, let's take a look at this one, the quality. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Th those look awesome. Oh, th this is the uh, tiny um, acrylic thing. Oh, wow. They have the keychains. I got no idea what this is, but those are cool. And the mugs. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wow. That, that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Artist drawing stuff. Draw my house high. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I, I can't see nothing bad. Like, this is just awesome. Oh, I. Ooh, a photo frame stuff? Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Take my money. Uh, that's. Uh. Tempest? I, I, I guess I forgot. Oh no. Oh, brain is not working today. Ah, they have. They, they have this bookmark ticket thingy. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, Bruni sing along. Yeah. All in all, that, that was a great look at how. I know I did their thing, and yeah, that, that that was quite awesome, man. I'm just remembering the conventions that I went. I I sure miss them, man. I sure miss them. Anyway, um, one of the few things I would like to see further in the future after this write up comes out 
and if there's a 2025 is more guests um one of the few people i think they could get and have fun interacting with is dusty cat dusty cat seems to be a great guy to hang out with and he seems awesome enough to uh i don't know just uh, be a guest i'm not sure um what dusty's uh, up to nowadays but yeah I, I think he'll be fun to invite at a convention who else would be awesome i don't know man like nowadays there's new names in the fandom that i can't catch up i'm i'm old school anyway let's move on to the next news and aha if you like those plush from before i i didn't talk about them that much yeah if you like this plush uh what about this Chinese plush company, uh, a uh, it Steph messed up with the A E I O U S. Uh, Auger picks up for the five plushies. Yeah, Steph messed up. That's supposed to be an O. <clears throat> Auger over in China is crafting five new G five plushies, according to. A press release from Hasbro. They plan to release them in sorry, release them at the end of the year. Oh, this year, my bad. And unlike everything else going on in China right now, they appear to sell these toys. Are they appear to sell these toys? Are Walmart around? The Jeff, come on, man. I I have a hard time reading. And now you're giving grammatical errors on purpose. That's just bad, man. They appear to sell these toys in Walmart around the world. Walmart's around? Okay, never mind. Uh, have an example of what they make and get the blurb from the press release below. <clears throat> okay, this is, if I'm not mistaken, cinnamon roll from uh sanrio's um hello kitty thingy uh sanrio is the company that makes hello kitty and uh, my melody and so on and one of the newest hot title is cinnamon roll uh, do i have never mind i'm not gonna but anyway uh press release blurb my little pony cross ogre hasbro and Lush Toy Company Auger are collaborating on a new collection of My Little Pony Generation 5 plush toys. The new lineup will release in China at the end of 2024 and include innovative, high quality design authentic to the icon, uh, iconic My Little Pony brand made with soft and safe materials. So, we got no idea what their final output is going to look like um, unless the press release shows some samples no <clears throat> no 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 this is just the little special uh, cross basic yeah okay this is a lot of crossovers that they has supposed to just want to say and stuff NECA, Whiskers, I remember Whiskers, those are the figure, right? Uh, our girl, oh! There's more, really. Uh, My Little Pony Crest, Elska, Elska is a toy industry working with Hasbro to new launch. Uh, stylized figure collection, four, okay. Oh, wow. Why didn't... Anyway, um, getting back. Let's let's try and see uh, Google searching our girl. Okay, AliExpress. Toys for us. So these are basically what they do and their plush qualities are not bad. They look pretty impressive. Okay, let's go Toys R Us. And this is Toys R Us Malaysia by the way. And I get nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, let's see. Shoopy. Uh, Shoopy is basically my 
the quote unquote eBay of Malaysia or at least Southeast Asia. Uh, so we get this. Ah. This is not bad. Yeah, um, so I would say don't be afraid. Um, their quality is pretty awesome. Uh, we got no idea what the size is going to be, but still, uh, at the end of the year, I'm just going to say this. Um, I have a strong feeling that they're going to come out with um, they're going to come out with a few awesome designs uh, to test out the market and see how things goes. Or they could have um, made a deal with Hasbro saying that, okay, we're just going to make X amount, take it or leave it kind of deal, and we'll just sell and see how the market works. And especially with how China is really, um, re really popping off with the pony fandom right now, they're going to be a big sale in China. And if those plush are really good, look nice, and they're gonna just spread around the, uh, the this 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 just gonna spread around the world, and people would hunt for them, especially those plush collectors. Anyway, uh, moving to the next news, Hasbro seemingly confirms Telio Tail ending next month, and next month is. September, so October probably. <clears throat> uh, written by Overcast. Right. On Wednesday, the Twitter parody account My Little Pony Facts shared an email response that they had received from Hasbro, PR representative. Although this post was pretty out of character for the account, it wasn't a joke. And the email is almost certainly real. According to this email, My Little Pony Tell Your Tale is ending and is with the uh, bi weekly schedule will only continue until October 17. This means there should only be two episodes left season 2, episode 22 on October 4th and 23 on October 17. In an earlier post, My Little Pony Fact has summarized in the email called for My Little Pony fans. To publicly urge Hasbro not to end P5. They shared uh, the screenshot of the email response to another another to another person's request for evidence. Uh, initially, because of the nature of the account, it was totally clear it wasn't totally clear if <clears throat> this was real or just a elaborate bit. The email is reproduced below. Uh, boy. Uh, okay, thank you for reaching out. Appreciate all your questions and hope the information I prove is helpful. Following two seasons of exciting slice of life content, My Little Pony Tell Your Tale is drawing to a close. My Little Pony Tell Your Tale has entertained fans around the world with magical adventures while delivering positive message about the value of diversity, inclusion, and friendship. Uh, as the series wraps up, our fans can continue to enjoy My Little Pony through innovative toy games and licensing licensed consumer products that create joy and community for fans of all ages. This isn't the end of the journey for My Little Pony. Stay tuned for more magical adventures to come. The series will remain available for audience worldwide with both seasons available on the My Little Pony Tell Your Tale YouTube channel and Series 1 currently streaming on Netflix. New episode of My Little Pony Tell Your Tale will be aired by weekly until October 17. Afterward, My Little Pony Facts allowed Generation 5 MLP News to independently confirm the authenticity of email, the, authentic the authentication method was explained as follows. <coughs> Most modern email contains a DKIM uh, cryptographic signature. Only the email domain server can generate the signature, but the, re 
uh, recipient can verify it using the server's public key since my little pony in fact sent us the original email file that they received we were able to independently verify the dkim signature this means that the email was sent to them from a hasbro.com user and that the content were not tampered with we used the python package dkimty to do this because of this uh cryptographic validation it's extremely unlikely that the email could have been fabricated or modified changing the email text would have rendered the signature invalid this email collaborates with some reports earlier this month following claims that g5 would soon end prematurely we analyzed the Kaleo Tale Season 2 YouTube playlist and found that the season could have as few as 22 episodes and Hasbro recently confirmed that My Little Pony brand would be continuing and would get some sort of big revamp in 2026. Kaleo Tales last episode definitely won't be the last G5 content. The third and final issue of IDW's The Storm of Zephyr comic uh, miniseries will be released on November 20th. Uh, there isn't anything known beyond that. And no further comics were <clears throat> announced this month. But IDW artist Nathleen Hines has recently clarified that IDW still has G5 projects in progress. So, wow. Um, oof. I hate when I'm reading and I'm not because it makes my sound okay anyway um looking at this okay I, I'm not a I'm not a strong advocate for G5 or anything like that and this honestly this just sucks man G, G5 didn't really had the push that G4 had with how like almost nine years of ponies including uh one two movies uh a few mini series or mini uh mi mini mini movies something like that and then uh a spin off with equestria struggles and a spin off with the small chibi ponies i forgot what it's called and yeah um this is kind of depressing to read but they say that they're making a big revamp in 2026. So we'll just have to wait for that one and see how that goes. Oh boy, but still, this is just... Hmm. Anyway, let's hop on into the last news for this week. So who won the Tell Your Tale contest over the years? Have the results. Tell Your Tale had contests around the world asking people to draw their ponies and receiving show style versions if they won. We already, uh, we already knew about uh, Luminous, Luminous Dazzle here, but four others got the winner uh, treatment along with her. Go check it out below. So Luminous Dazzle cool uh you're dreamy so do they explain who they are how old are they um i, I guess i have to click and see okay pony here don't forget to include your cutie mark he is a day daydream okay that's cool stars uh one two three four five, five stars with a shooting star in the middle a unicorn pony named dreamy and they cover her name okay i understand i understand <clears throat> the entertainment the toy okay that's cool that that's a contest and this is her pony form Ta -da! oh they, they didn't really do the star streak i i guess it's not bad this is I'm still pissed off at G5 for not giving the cutie marks on the, in the left and right. 
Oh boy. Anywho, she looks pretty cool. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, they made it five instead of six. I wonder why. Huh. Maybe to ease up on the animation, I guess. <clears throat> they can draw a pony here. Okay, toy. I'm guessing this is in collaboration with toy stores. Okay, let's see this one. And let's see the breakdown. Okay, she's okay, she's an alicorn. I guess pick one, I guess. Uh pony is this German? Aesthetic shimmer. Just killer. Oh my So she has a cape. Uh not much of cutie mark. But let's see how she Okay, they changed her into a Pegasi. Obviously. Oh, Oh, stars two hearts. Okay. So that's her cutie mark um, on the cloak and also on her flank. And yeah, this is a good compromise. I like this. I like this. She looks pretty cool. I like the look. G4 has, sorry, G5 has pretty interesting Pegasi look. Yeah, G5 has. G5 design is really, how do I put this? Uh, G5 design for ponies is fascinating. I do like how the hooves look and the horn really pops out with how uh, there's multicolored ears. Um, I, I'm I'm trying to remember how uh, easy look, but I can't really remember for the life of me. But from what I'm seeing, this is pretty interesting. And the wings on the Pegasus here is pretty cool too. They're two tips and whatnot. Because we did mention that um, Zip and Pip are Pegasi, but they have different wings, wing shapes and whatnot. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's move on. So this one, tail. Open, open, open. There we go. Design your pony here. Don't forget your cutie mark. Six year old. Ah. Le Don't know how to say that name. But let's. There's no date. This is from China, I guess. Leaf pony. Ah, I see. Oh, wow. That's cool. Pegasi. Uh, Alicorn, but downgraded to a unicorn. Yo, I guess the show creators thought that, hey, uh, why don't we make her a unicorn? Everybody would be better because of um, being grounded, but we do see that in G5, uh, unicorns are more down to earth. Yeah. I do like the vines um, wrapping around her mane. That looks really cool. Yeah, this is, this is cool. This is cool. <clears throat> I know this is high. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. Don't forget your cutie marks. Little rock. Uh, oh, they don't have the same... Uh, what's it called? They don't have the same um, formatting with uh, don't your pony name, uh, don't forget to put the cutie marks, your name, and so on. But anyway, uh, let's see. All about Little Rock. She has music powers. She found that music is the prettiest magic of all. You go, girl! Yeah! And you're a gamer! <laughs> Uh, so I'm guessing this is your cute name, Mark? Oh, I'm sorry. This has to be toned down a bit. But this looks cool. Yeah, I like it. And let's see, Little Rock. Oh, did they? Did they just go? Okay, they, they toned it down a bit, but they made it work. So you have your musical notes, some figure lines, dot, dot, dot. And... Okay, no 
Okay, uh, normal hit bones. Yeah, I like it. I, I, I like it a lot. And they put socks on her or boots or gloves, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this looks good. Awesome. Awesome on you. And this is the Luminous Days. Yeah. Oh, wow. Luminous Days look good. Oh, the coloring is awesome. Self-drawn too. Yeah. And how did they represent her in... Uh... Oh, wow. I'm guessing the show just says, well, our job is done. They did it for us. We'll, we'll just... We'll just use this. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Oh wow! I I I am gushing over them. They look nice. Yeah, congratulations to all the winners. I I can't wait to go through the show and spot out um your OCs. I'll be like that Leonardo DiCaprio meme. Oh, I know that reference. But anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing my week? So anyway. This week has been pretty busy with work and whatnot. And <clears throat> what have I been doing? Uh, I mentioned that movies, uh, Transformers 1 is out, but I haven't had the chance to watch it. Probably I'll watch it next month when I have my paycheck and whatnot. So that's the project I want to do. Um, what else? Um, there is... Huh. Nothing much, nothing new really. Um, October has nothing new that I can think of. Uh, no project. Oh yeah, Um, in terms of what I've been entertaining myself with, um, I recently bought a game called Marvel vs. Capcom Fighter Collection. Um, been playing that and that's been really awesome. I've 100%ed the game in terms of trophy slash achievements and it was fun. Challenging yet fun. Um, I can't really. I haven't really played online with it yet, but still, I, I I'm just having a lot of fun, just rehashing my childhood memories of that game. And yeah, man, it, it's it's just a blast. But other than that, um, nothing much, nothing new. Anyway, um, let's wrap it up. Hmm. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow, and my personal Twitter account is at Lemon Sanzo. You can try, <clears throat> also please trade us on iTunes, YouTube. Um, press the bell. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Uh, and if uh, last week you remember me talking about oh, the whole iTunes thing says fix and whatnot. So um, here's, here's what's going on really with uh, the podcast in terms of iTunes. I mentioned to you that, oh, the podcast was down because of silly things. Um, I was suspended or something like that. And then I sent an email. They got fixed because what, what a pony podcast, what a pony podcast could do that got it suspended. Good question because I'm asking that myself because as far as I can tell on a personal level I've been very very careful in what I say so yeah but still um got that sorted out so now that's out but here's the thing um I've noticed that the show doesn't up especially for what um 5.50, sorry, 5.39, uh, it didn't really pop up. So what I usually do, behind the scenes, folks, what I usually do is that I use a podcast aggregate to automatically post the show at a certain time. But it seems that that, uh, what you call this, uh, that system didn't really push the podcast out. I, I got no idea why, I got no idea. 
how it didn't just um, post it. So what I'll be, but um, what I've done recently, if you do notice that uh, 5.39 is out on a Sunday, which is strange because that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be it. So, uh, so what I'll be doing moving forward is instead of using a scheduler, I'll just post it when it's out already or whatever I feel like doing. So if you are a supporter of the uh, show and listen to it via podcast format, you'll probably get the podcast early, earlier than what it's supposed to come out with. But if you want to see my ugly mug, um, just keep on watching on YouTube, I guess. YouTube is normal. YouTube is stable. That's, that's the fun part about YouTube. YouTube is stable. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. If you ever support, you get a week's early access to review new special podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and Master Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!